of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, as we prepare ourselves for this Holy Mass, let us examine our conscience. Let us bring to mind all our sinfulness, our brokenness, those times where we have failed to love God and to love our fellow brothers and sisters, where we have failed to be people of prayer, where we have failed to be a good neighbor, as the Lord have mercy on us to forgive us our sins and give us a grace to celebrate this Mass in a worthy manner. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and give us everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that never endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. The Lord said, Because of the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah, is great and their sin is very grave, I will go down to see whether they have done altogether according to the outcry which has come to me, and if not, I will know. So the men turned from there and went towards Sodom, but Abraham still stood before the Lord. Then Abraham drew near and said, Will thou indeed destroy the righteous with the wicked? Suppose there are fifty righteous within the city, Will thou then destroy the place and not spare it for the fifty righteous who are in it? Far be it from thee to do such a thing, to slay the righteous with the wicked, so that the righteous fare as the wicked. Far be that from thee, shall not judge of all the earth do right? And the Lord said, If I find at Sodom fifty righteous in the city, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham answered, Behold, I have taken up myself to speak to the Lord, I who am not dust and ashes. Suppose five of the fifty righteous are la lacking, wilt thou destroy the whole city for lack of five? And he said, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five there. Again he spoke to him and said, Suppose forty are found there? He answered, for the sake of forty, I will not do it. Then he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Suppose thirty are found there? He answered, I will not do it if I find thirty there. He said, Behold, I have taken upon myself to speak to the Lord. Suppose twenty are found there? He answered, For the sake of twenty, I will not destroy it. Then he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak again, but this once. Suppose ten are there found? He answered, For the sake of ten, I will not destroy it. The word of the God. Thanks be to God. Your response. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Before the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. On the day I called. On the day I called. You answered me, Lord. You answered me, Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. On the day I called. On the day I called. You answered me, O Lord. You answered me, O Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and he haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. On the day I called, on the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. You answered me, O Lord. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. On the day I called. On the day I called. You answered me, O oh Lord. You answered me, O oh Lord. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. God made us alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses. You were buried with Christ in baptism in which you were also raised with him, through faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. And you, who were dead in trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, 
God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses, having cancelled the bond which stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Let us all rise for the acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Alleluia. with you. I am with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, our Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place and when he ceased, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. And he said to them, when you pray, say, Father, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation. And he said to them, Which of you who has a friend will go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has arrived on a journey, and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within, Do not bother me. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, though he will not get up and give him anything, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him whatever he needs. I tell you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. What father among you, if his sons ask for fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you, then who are evil, knows how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us rise and profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we offer all our offerings before the Lord, let us pray before the Lord, offering all our prayers and intentions before him. Dear brothers and sisters, sometimes persistence is the only way to get what we need. Jesus in the gospel of today assures us that persistence will win out. God is gracious enough to take our persisting requests seriously as the story of Abraham teaches. Let us pray for the grace to be steadfast and untiring in our requests and supplications before the Lord saying, Lord, help us to persevere in prayer. Lord, help us to persevere in prayer. 
for those who called to leadership within the church and for all leaders responsible for the common good that the lord's wisdom and strength may continue to inspire them in their responsibilities we pray lord help us to persevere in prayer for our faith community that we may celebrate and welcome the diverse faces of christ in our worship in our ministries and in our leaders we pray lord help us to persevere in prayer for families going through hard times that they may keep the flame of hope burning in their hearts and be invigorated by your promise as and it will be given to you we pray lord lord help, help us, us to persevere in prayer for those who are sick lonely and depressed that they may be strengthened by god's love aided by their family friends and well wishers we pray lord, lord help, help us, us to persevere in prayer for all of us gathered here that we may be a responsible christian community committed to the cause of our brothers and sisters whose joys and sorrows we willingly share we pray lord help us to persevere in prayer no moment of silence offer to the lord all our personal prayers and intentions as a lord to come and bless your personal life your family life your workplace your relationships your studies your social life that you may always be an example of prayer pray to the lord that he may heal you of all your infirmities as a lord to give you the grace to forgive those who have hurt you and the strength to ask forgiveness to those whom you have wronged offer to the lord all your struggles and sufferings your torments and your toil as the lord to give you the grace to fulfill all the tasks are one all the tasks and efforts and undertakings that you have taken up offer to the lord your parents your spouse your children your siblings your near and dear ones remember those who are in need of our prayers together with the church today let us pray very especially for the elderly that in their old age they may find the grace and strength to remain in the steadfast love of the lord pray for the sick the suffering they may find healing and grace in the presence of god pray for those who are struggling in their daily life pray for broken family and marital relationships pray for those who are steeped into sinfulness pray for those who are struggling to find success in their life those who are struggling to enter into married life without a job those who are struggling to conceive children remember all the priests and religious pray for caris bhavan and all its ministries pray for the holy mother of the church and for the intentions of pope francis god our loving father we thank you for your personal presence with us keep us ever focused on you and keep our hearts steadfastly trusting you for all our needs and necessities may we always stand firm in the truth of the gospel and persevere through our struggles with strength from your promises we make this prayer through christ our lord amen let us offer all our prayers in the offertory I said 
Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, for the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, the Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you send us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest Lord, we lift up your name With our hearts full of praise We exalt our whole Lord, our God Hosanna in the highest Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Full of praise, we exalt our oh Lord of God, Hosanna in the highest. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the King of Kings. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the King of Kings. Lord, we lift up your name. Our hearts full of praise. Be exalted, O oh Lord our God, for set in the highest. Let us be on our knees. You are indeed holy, O oh Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. The Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof. But only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is celebrated. Go in the peace and joy of Christ.